Articulating clearly is one of the basic requirements for a trumpet player. Remember that good articulation serves the sound. Always listen for a good sound following your articulation. Good tonguing comes from the combination of solid airflow, the tongue, and the use of firm fingers. You might find it interesting to note that the first thing I mentioned was a solid airflow. When you forget to keep the airflow strong throughout your articulation, the sound begins to suffer. Here's an example of poor tonguing followed by good tonguing. The tongue's role is to act as a valve. Its only job is to create an interruption in the airstream, which we hear as the articulation. Aim for a combination of quick tongue movement and steady airflow to avoid sluggish articulation. Too many times, we trumpet players forget the importance of pressing the valves down firmly as we play. No matter how well your air and tongue are working, if you add lazy fingers, the resulting sound will be less than desirable. Listen as a portion of this scale is performed first using lazy and then firm fingers. Since all notes are not meant to be produced in the same manner, try starting notes with a variety of syllables. That will allow you to present your music in many different ways. Most trumpet players find two as a good reference point to begin with. As you get better at tonguing, experiment with using a variety of syllables. To, ta, do, da, and do are all used by trumpet players in different musical situations. You should also experiment with using different degrees of intensity. Some notes in music are meant to be presented with incredible authority, while others should sound as if they came out of nowhere. Practice a wide range so you'll be ready for any situation. The first exercises we suggest you play involve only the mouthpiece. Start by tonguing a few isolated pitches in your middle range. To make sure you're playing in tune, try this at a piano or with another trumpet player. Remember to listen to the sound after the articulation. Once you're comfortable with isolated pitches, try re-articulating on the same pitch. For your tonguing to sound easy and smooth, you must project your airflow through each articulation. Don't back away as you tongue each note. We find scales to be a great tool for articulation practice. Play any major or minor scale in whatever rhythmic pattern you want. Listen for crisp, clean articulations followed by a full sound. Herbert L. Clark's Technical Studies for the Cornet is a book we highly recommend. The exercises in it can be used to work on many areas of your playing. Choose any of the first three studies, slurring them the first time and articulating the second. Your airflow should be the same whether you're slurring or tonguing. Arbenz is another method book every trumpet player should own. In regards to tonguing, the exercises on pages 17 through 22 and 28 through 36 are extremely helpful. A good practice method for these is to alternate between slurring and tonguing each phrase, which will remind you to keep the air full as you articulate. On page 125 of the Arben book, you can find interval studies. These add larger leaps into your articulation practice. Concentrate on blowing through the center of your trumpet and not trying to physically position each note. Listen for the same quality of sound and articulation on every note as you play through the exercise. <laughs> 